This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, and especially at the moment, I do hope you're well. Now, every generation has one gig that is just part of the consciousness of that generation. I guess for the, uh, the generation before me, it would have been Woodstock or Monterey or something like that. But for my generation, it was Live Aid. I was 18 years old on that day. Um, I wasn't 18, that wasn't my birthday, but I was 18 years old at the time of Live Aid in 1985. And it's as fresh in my memory as it is today. And um, the first band on stage was Status Quo, and the first song they played was Rockin' All Over the World, and this was the first guitar solo played globally, on the global jukebox, as it was called at the time, of Live Aid. So, as I said, I've been meaning to do this solo for a while, and I finally got round to doing it. And uh, here's the solo, and then a brief explanation of what's going on. <laughs> Okay then, let's take a look at what we got going on here. Uh, the short answer is a lot of really cool uh, little rock and roll licks. Um, it's broken down into two parts, this solo. The first uh, eight bars are played by uh, Rick Parfit, and the second eight bars is Francis Rossi coming in. So let's have a look at Rick's part first of all. Uh, we start with... that little lick there pure c major pentatonic because we're basically playing over a, a three chord uh thing in the key of c c f and g are the chords um so tonality of c major c major pentatonic lick to bring things up uh, to kick things off uh, after that uh, the chord has now changed to an f and he plays this little double stop pair of notes here from an f chord just the uh, the, the the notes that would be in the top two strings of an F chord um, and it's this and what's interesting about this simplest of simple licks is what he's doing with it rhythmically and we're going to see this happening a few times throughout the solo basically uh, he's playing a little three note cycle if you like or three things and you've got that's it and it's the beginning of that little three note cycle or three uh, double stop cycle really is denoted by the slide on the beginning so he's playing cycles of three that's the important thing but he's playing to a rhythm that's divided by two so you got one and two and three and four and so you're getting one and two and three and four and one like that so one and two so what's happening is that that's, that's beginning on the beat, one and two, then it's beginning off the beat, and three and, then it's beginning on the beat again, four and one, like that. And how to make the simplest lick sound interesting, just put that little bit of rhythmic displacement onto it, and it just makes it sound more engaging and interesting. So after that we go, just coming straight down, basically down a, a C minor pentatonic this time with the added D note in. Where are you getting that D note from? Well, it's arguably it's in the C major pentatonic. And that kind of cues up what we're going to do next because we're mixing C major and C minor pentatonics together with this little lick. So C major pentatonic. C minor pentatonic. The old blues ploy of uh, mixing major and minor pentatonics together, and you get. Like that. Really cool sounding lick, and it's so cool that he plays it twice. 
and that's a, an important lesson to learn. If a lick sounds good once, it's probably going to sound good playing it a second time. Get some mileage out of it. And then we go down to another double stop lick down here at the fifth fret on the fourth and third strings, just playing a little C power chord, basically. <laughs> Notice again that rhythmic displacement thing. One and two and three and four and... Like that, so the notes are starting on the beat, then off the beat, then on the beat. Okay. Then we get into Francis's uh, half of the solo, where he begins way up here, uh, up in position one of C major pentatonic. Like this, up at the 17th fret. And the important thing, I think, about the way this solo begins is he doesn't wait for Rick to finish his uh, little uh, bunch of licks. If you're in a band where you're kind of jamming with another guitar player and you're going to do kind of trading leads like this, then don't wait until the other... Don't be the polite guy who, who waits until the other guy's finished. Start playing a little bit early over the last bar or so of his solo and it adds to the excitement. It just kind of propels it along a little bit. Anyway, the licks he begins with are just, uh, as I say, straight ahead C major pentatonic licks. <laughs> Like that. And then, um, because the chord now has gone to an F, he targets a note that's in the F chord. The A note there. There's an A note in an F chord, and he's bending up to it here. And he does an, a lovely little chromatic run coming out of that. That F, E, E flat, D. Like that. And then just kind of rounds it off with uh, more C major pentatonic stuff and then carrying on with the C major pentatonic that bunch of licks there and then he dives all the way down from the 17th fret down to the 5th fret so from pattern 1 down to pattern 1 again uh, for a double stop lick this is uh, really speaking the, the first double stop lick that uh, Francis has played here and he, he's playing more of a Hendrixy kind of thing that sort of uh, deal there you know um, slow it down and you've got a very wind cries Mary kind of feel and he's going Notice again, rhythmic displacement. One and two and three and four and one. Like that. So then that hammer on is happening on the beat, then off the beat, then on the beat, then off the beat. And again, that's the uh, the solo done. And um, lots of cool little ideas in here in what is, you know, a, quite a simple solo technically but there's some good ideas that you can apply in any solo simple or complex or however technical you want to get so grab the tab and give them a go and see what you can learn from them and as always by the time this video hits youtube that uh, tab and jam track and all that clip that you've just seen there of me demonstrating and explaining the solo will all be up on my patreon page there's the address right there uh, and that's just a special little thank you to all of my patreon supporters it's only three dollars a month and you get all of these additional resources that go along with these little youtube lessons that i put up so check it out and if you're interested in supporting the channel in other ways there's all kinds of links down stairs in the description box you can buy a fret zealot and get a little bit of money knocked off using this discount code you can see on screen here and you can spend a little bit of money on my wife's lovely jewelry that she makes and loads of other things as well and courses and stuff like that so check it out you're helping me keep the lights on around here and that is pretty much it for today folks hope you've enjoyed the video uh, found it useful and informative and maybe a little bit entertaining as well and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and that way you'll never miss another video and uh, just take a moment now to remind you about the live stream on Friday. We've all got to have something to look forward to, haven't we? Uh, and I look forward to this. It started off as a bit of a, a thing when the lockdown started uh, because the pubs were shut. And I'm just going to keep it going until uh, you guys have had enough. So, um Hope to see many of you there, 5pm UK time, uh, it's all about the beer and the chat and the laughs and it's a great way to kick off the weekend, uh, as I said I'd like to see many of you there if you're so inclined. And with that I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you for watching, thank you for your time, stay well folks, stay safe and above all stay sane, 
Bye for now. This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show.